Once again, Christian greetings to all our valued listeners and viewers throughout the whole world, even more particularly to all Shepherds Rod believers, and most especially to our beloved brothers and sisters in the United States of America. Special greetings to our brethren in Colorado, in Georgia, in Kansas, in Missouri, in Texas, Chicago, Illinois, in Arkansas, in California, in New York, in Pennsylvania, in Canada, Fiji Island, in Mexico, Spain, Africa, Kenya, Pakistan, Zambia, to the United Kingdom, to our brethren in Australia, in Malaysia, and in Indonesia, and also in Papua New Guinea, and to the rest of the 144,000 living saints scattered abroad. Greetings. May the good Lord bless you, my dear brothers and sisters. This is our special episode number 27, just an hour exposition of the prophecy as the last final warning message. I would like to read this statement on A2TG24 on page 22. Uh, 2TG 24, page 22. It says, If they do awake to their poverty, this concerning spiritual poverty, supposed to be, I think, that of all the people in the world, the shepherds rod believer must be the most informed and they must be the people by which they must have complete and clearer understanding concerning the active living spirit of prophecy because that subject the active living is for prophecy there is no other book that explain it sufficiently except the shepherd's rod publications now brethren one of the reason why the true people of god were not swallowed by the dragon's blood let's read 2tg 24 23 it says, The remnants that are left, the saints were not swallowed by the dragon's blood. As the earth opened her mouth, you know, have the testimony of Jesus Christ, the living spirit of prophecy, active in their midst. The testimony of Jesus Christ, which is the living spirit of prophecy, active in their midst. That is the only reason why they were not swallowed by the dragon's blood. Who are they, the dragon's blood? And secondly, what does it mean? Active in their midst. Let us honestly study the Shepherd's Rod. Yes, you are right. We have the Shepherd's Rod publications. But I am asking seriously and honestly where we could find in the Shepherd's Rod publications that when the prophet is dead, at the time when there is no living human channel, at that time, the spirit of prophecy is still active. Please produce such a statement where we could find whether the writings of Sister White or the writings of B.T. Hodder. It is quite opposite. The shepherds have declared clearly. Let us read Anzerer number 3, page 60. Upon the death of Sister White in 1915, the gift of inspiration, the active spirit of prophecy, became, became quiescent, no longer manifesting itself for a time. With the church thus cut off from the very source of its life, as was the Jewish church from the death of the prophet Malachi to the rise of John the Baptist, how could it maintain its vitality and growth? Hence, now as then, there has followed the same inevitable spiritual malnutrition and deformity accompanied with a long train of woes. Both prophets plainly declared that at the time when there is no living human channel, the living is for prophecy became inactive, no longer manifesting, became quiescent. Here in early writings, page 133, the gift of prophecy was manifested in the church during the Jewish dispensation. If it disappeared for a few centuries, for 300 years, the gift of prophecy disappeared. Therefore, the gift of prophecy does not refer to the writings because there was no such historical record that the inspired writings of the Old Testament disappeared. Now, this is an honest question. Can you produce a statement in the shepherd's rod or in the writings of Sister White that at the time when there is no living prophet, at the time when there is no living human channel, the spirit of prophecy are still active? 
produce the statement. We should not base our faith or our belief on assumption. Brethren, the Bible is called the greater light. The writings of Sister White and B.T. Hotep is called the lesser light. But the Shambhur's Rod made it so plain. It says here in 2 TG 24-23, Let now no one deceive himself by thinking that the Bible itself is the active spirit of prophecy. Let us be God's real people, logical thinkers, not bait hunters. The Bible, you know, without the human channel, is as inactive as though it were but ink and paper. Moreover, the spirit too, apart from man, is also inactive. He too works through the human agent. Hence, without an inspired interpreter, the cancelled prophecies and the spirit that unfolds them are inactive. Although there is much to say about these things, I remember the statement given by B.T. Hotel. On Answerer number 1, page 28, it says, Though there is much more to be said on these matters, suffice these lines for the present. For unless for your life's sake you respond to them, more would be only a wit a weariness to you and a loss of time to us. The only thing that I really fully believe, that God is in control. God knoweth everything. And the statement in 2TG 24 on page 23, I do rest my faith according to this statement. So I would like to read again 2TG 2423. The remnant that are left, the saints were not swallowed by the dragon's blood. As the earth opened her mouth, what does it mean by swallowed by the dragon's blood? Meaning they were not misled by the dragon's blood. Who are they the dragon's blood? Dragon's blood. Satan prompted interpreters of the scriptures. An inspired man. It says here in 2TG 24, 24, Finally, what could be the dragon's blood that proceeds out of his mouth if not dragon prompted interpreters of the scriptures through whom he expects to cause the church to be carried away, to be carried away, away from the truth. It says here in 2TG 24, 23, I would like to read again. The remnant that are left, the saints, and I do fully believe the saints mentioned here, they are the 144,000 living saints. The saints were not swallowed by the dragon's blood as the earth opened her mouth. You know, have the testimony of Jesus Christ, the living spirit of prophecy active in their midst. I do fully believe that the statement active in their midst is synonymous to the statement given by Sister White that the saints to be translated to heaven without seeing death in the last generation of men according to Spiritual Gifts Book 3 page 26. You can read the entire paragraph. Spiritual Gifts Book 3 page 26. It says, The remnant whom God designs to fit for translation to heaven without seeing death. I would like to read again. Spiritual Gifts Book 3 page 26. It says, the remnant whom God designs to fit for translation to heaven without seeing death. What is the description in the upper part? It says, acknowledge the gift of prophecy among them. Acknowledge the gift of prophecy among them. Try to study closely the Shepherd's Run publications. If the gift of prophecy represents the books. Sister White says, when Malachi died, the gift of prophecy disappeared. Early writings 133. Brethren, this statement in track number 5 on page 86 saying, As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, trying to obscure the light on any other Bible truth will in no way darken or doom it, but only darken and doom himself. The Shepherd's Rod made it so plain in 2TG 24 23. 2TG 24 23. It says, Here is the Bible's own answer. Here is the Bible, Bible's own answer, which says that there is to be a people. He did not say there are as of many. There must be a particular group of people that there is to be a people who will have the testimonies of Jesus Christ at the time the earth swallows up the blood, the hypocrites. Then the shepherd's rod made it so plain. And since this incident is yet future, what incident which is yet future? When the earth will open her mouth to swallow up the flood. And not only the flood, not only the dragon's blood, but also those who have been carried by the dragon's blood. 
it says, and since this incident is yet future, it shows that there is to be a prophet in the church. It is very plain. If you will study closely this page to TJ 24-23, the statement is very strong. It seems it was already predicted beforehand that there must be a period of time by which God's people, they will have no living testimony in their midst. Otherwise, it would be grammatically incorrect because the statement who will have indicates that there was a period of time by which they don't have. But it is guaranteed by the word of God, the rod of God, that before that event, when the dragons flood, and all their followers and sympathizers will be swallowed by the earth. When the earth will open her mouth, there must be a prophet in the church. What church? It must be the 11th hour church. And that is the only reason why they were not swallowed. It says in 2 TG 24-23, the remnant that are left. Why is it that they are left? The saints were not swallowed by the dragon's blood as the earth opened her mouth. You note, meaning, bit hot, I'm saying, observe carefully. Note the reason why they were not swallowed by the dragon's blood. It's so because they have the testimony of Jesus Christ, the living spirit. Spirit of prophecy active in their midst. So that statement active in their midst, it must be pointing to God's people by which they acknowledge the gift of prophecy among them. Now, brothers and sisters, going back again to 2 TG 24, page 22. If they do awake to their poverty, what poverty? A spiritual poverty, of course. That without the present truth, we are in deep spiritual poverty. If they do awake to their poverty, it will be the greatest miracle since the beginning of the world. You see? The greatest of all the miracles that is the greatest according to the shepherd's rod. I say it will be the greatest because they feel no need of God's help through inspiration. This is the situation among the Bidya today. They feel no need of God's help through inspiration, meaning the help of God is channeled through inspiration. What help? In a spiritual aspect. The only channel by which God can communicate His people is through inspiration. Let's read again. Answerer number 3, page 30. Hence, any objection to inspiration can only in the last analysis be an attempt to put God out of sight and to bring men to the front, cut off the only channel through which God can com interpret the scriptures, communicate His people, reveal truth and unmask error. Brethren, we are really living in a time by which all the world wandered after the beast. That predicted event is directly applied in the judgment that pertains to the living. Now, I would like to read 1 SR 255. In view of this unrushing torrent of apostasy, heeded by mislead spiritual guides, in my estimation, the Leopard Beast of Revelation 13, verse 1 to 3, has met a most striking fulfillment of symbolical prophecy. All the world wandered after the beast. The world in general has always been after the beast. For this reason, the world is in need of the gospel. But when God makes the statement, all the world wandered after the beast, then it must be that those to whom God has given great light have partaken of the spirit of the world, thus fulfilling the prophecy. Or have partaken the spirit of the beast. What is the beast? System. And what is that system of the beast represented by the Protestant world? I would like to read again in answer error number three. It says, the questioner's difficulty stems from the hard fact that the Protestant world has long held the concept that God does not in this age employ an inspired mouthpiece to interpret the scriptures and to declare his will, but invests and leads its Christian individually. This theory, however, is universally exploded when viewed in the light of the fact that those individuals claiming to be personally led of God disagree among themselves just as much as the various sect disagree one with another. Would you think the Bidyan is not following that method? Saying, we have the Bible, we have the writings of Sister White, we have the writings of B.T. Halter. Let us read honestly and carefully. The shepherd's rod. God will lead us individually. But it was universally exploded. 
according to the explanation given by the shepherd's rod. The Bidyan disagree one with another. Mountain Dale says they seriously study the shepherd's rod, fully believe the shepherd's rod, but they disagree with the Waco advocators. The Waco advocators say we need to go back into the old site location. That is the teaching of the shepherd's rod. But the Mountain Dale advocator says no. With all others, brethren, let us be honest and sincere. The statement given in 2TG 34.23, it says, Since the revelation, the book that speaks to the people of God at this time, recommends the sect that, keep, that keeps the commandments and that has the gift of prophecy. That has the gift of prophecy. You cannot wisely connect yourself with any other sect. So the only movement, the only sect that you need to connect yourself wisely only to that movement that has the gift of prophecy. If the gift of prophecy is the writings of B.T. Hotter, then all the obedience has the gift of prophecy. Now let us continue reading. It says, And since God so declares, it must be that there is, and since God so declares, it must be that there is but one such people at this particular time who have the living testimony of Jesus Christ, the gift of the spirit of prophecy. This statement is even more definitely applied in the days in which we are living in. Then it says, Moreover, for God to place the gift with more than one people would be for him to cause confusion and disaster to his own work to thwart his own purpose. You see, if God will place the gift with more than one people, if that gift, the gift of prophecy, the prophetic gift, are the books of B.T. Hotep, then God place it more than one people. What an erroneous doctrine. If the prophetic gift can be found more than one people, would be for him to cause confusion and disaster to his own work to thwart his own purpose. Then it says, still further, if more than one has the gift, you see, still further, if more than one has the gift, then they all would necessarily have to agree as one. Necessarily. Does the Davidian agree as one? Then it says, but since there are no two sects that agree with, with its other, the truth that there is but one sect that has the gift is an absolute reality. Absolute reality. And while you may choose to keep the Sabbath commandment, you cannot inspire yourself with the spirit of prophecy. This gift is bestowed upon the remnant by God himself. Is it difficult to understand? The remnant. Why is it that they were not swallowed by the dragon's blood? According to 2 TG 24-23. It's so because the living is for prophecy is act in their means. Why is it that it is active? Because that gift of prophecy is bestowed by God. Only God knows who are they the remnant and to whom ever the gift was bestowed by God. That is the remnant recognized by God as His people. God will not bestow the gift if not or if that is not His church. Brethren, the shepherd's rod made it so plain. In track number 6, on page 10, it says, track number 6, page 10, Since the scriptures explained that the church in all ages has been led into truth only through the gift of prophecy. Only. And the statement says, in all ages, we are now in the last age, the last generation of men. Track number 6, page 10, since the scriptures explain that the church in all ages without exemption, all ages, has been led into truth. Only, there is no other way. Only through the gift of prophecy. Here on track number 6, page 12. Track number 6, page 12. Satan is leading these quasi-Christian legions to parade as fools before the world. So that through their unconscious folly, he may cast reproach upon Christ and at the same time may make the world believe that the Father has not sent the Son. What is one of the purpose why God sent His only begotten Son? So that all God's people may be one. That is the last prayer of Jesus Christ in Gethsemane, in John 17. It says here, John chapter 17, on verse 20 and 21, Neither pray I for this alone, but for them also which shall, be, shall believe on me through their word that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. 
that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. So this is what the shepherd's word is saying. Satan is leading these quasi-Christian legions to parade as fools before the world. Apology, brothers and sisters. This is what happening among us, among the media. It seems we are parading as fools before the Adventist world. It says, So that through their unconscious folly, he may cast reproach upon Christ, and at the same time may make the world believe that the Father has not sent the Son. Unless these disunited ranks awake to their plight, Satan will shortly plunge them headlong into eternal destruction. This everlasting tragedy would be chargeable only to their despising the gift of the spirit of prophecy. The eyes of the church which alone can see to draw them into a state of oneness of unbreakable unity. Whether we believe it or not, brothers and sisters, the only medium that God can lead His people into such oneness of unbreakable unity is through the guidance of the prophetic gift, the gift of the spirit of prophecy. And we as individuals think that our knowledge, our understanding are sufficient to understand the shepherd's word publications. Brethren, there is a divine principle. One of the most important subject, according to the shepherd's word, in track number 10, on page 20, it says, Have spent but very little time, track number 10, page 20, Have spent but very little time in studying more essential subjects, such as the prohibition against private interpretation of the scriptures. Prohibition against private interpretation of the scriptures. Would you think the term scriptures the shepherd's word publications are not included. The term scriptures, brothers and sisters, must be referring to all inspired writings. The divine principle that had been left by the rod of God in answerer number one. On page 47, it says, Judged by the same standard, no one else their middle with the inspired writer's work. Do you believe that the shepherd's word publications is inspired writer's work? Answerer number 1, page 47. Judged by the same standard, no one else their middle with the inspired writer's work. This rational sequence consistently concludes that when a point in one's writings is not clear, then only the writer himself should be consulted concerning it if he is living. That is the divine standard that we need to absolutely follow. That the only one should be consulted concerning the shepherd's word publications must be the writer himself, Bithyhotep himself, if he is still living. But if the writer is already dead, what is the statement given by the shepherd's word? It says, otherwise, meaning when the writer is already dead. Answerer number one, page 47. Otherwise, only the same spirit of inspiration, the original author of the writings, can clarify whatever is involved. Who is the original author of the Shepherd's Land publications? God, the Spirit of Christ. And that is the reason it is called the Rod of God. Brethren, however simple, look at the Jewish people when Malachi died. They began to engage private interpretation. They misconstrue even the simple portions of the Word of God according to the shepherd's word. And the result was they crucified the Savior whom they have expended millions of dollars. Right? That is why private interpretation is great evil. For symbolic code 10 to 12, page 3. Consequently, they were left in spiritual darkness and as they privately, without inspiration, interpreted the scriptures, they misunderstood and misapplied even the most simple portions of the word of God with the result that they crucified the very one for whom they had expended millions of dollars in sacrifices and served hundreds of years in ceremonial services. For symbolic code 10 to 12, page 3. Brethren, only the spirit of truth can transmit the mysteries of inspiration. What is that spirit of truth? The spirit of Christ. And the example that could be given is that Sister White and Prophet Isaiah. It says, track number 6, page 34, Thus by scripture and by logic, we are carried to the peak of evidence and of conviction 
that Mrs. White was inspired by the same spirit as was Isaiah. So the spirit that inspired Isaiah was transmitted to Sister White. And that is a mystery. It says here in answerer number 5, page 55, And since none but the Spirit of truth, that is the Spirit of Christ, and since none but the Spirit of truth who transmitted the mysteries of inspiration can interpret them, what is the pronoun them? Referring to the Bible, the writings of Sister White, and the Shepherd's Rod publications. Because that is the main subject in the upper portion. It says, the Bible and the books of the Spirit of Prophecy being the sole source of the Shepherd's Rod message. Therefore, when the Rod is taught, the Bible and the Spirit of Prophecy are taught. How does the Rod is taught? Only by the Spirit of Truth. It says, and since none but the Spirit of Truth who transmitted the mysteries of inspiration can interpret them then those who attempt to teach them without this inspired interpretational authority, interpretational authority inevitably fall into the forbidden practice of private interpretation. The great evil. It's up to you whether you believe it or not. That is the great evil. And according to the Shepherd's Rod, in answerer number 3, page 30, it says, answerer number 3, page 30, so very plainly, the Word of God cannot be, rightly, cannot be rightly interpreted privately without the aid of inspiration. I believe that the Shepherd's Rod is the Word of God. It is the Rod of God. Then it says, any who does attempt to interpret the messages which the Lord sends to them will find themselves serving Satan instead of serving Christ and will surely cause both themselves and their followers to make shepherd of faith. The Bible is divided into three history commandments and prophecy each of us individually had been given the authority to teach the commandments that's what it means in 2 tg 34 23 saying let's read again 2 tg 34 on page 23 while you may choose to keep the sabbath commandment meaning you can voluntarily choose to keep the commandments of God and to teach the commandments of God. But you cannot inspire yourself with a spur prophecy. Meaning, you cannot voluntarily offer yourself because it is a gift and it is God who will bestow such gift. So concerning prophecy and history, the only one who can explain it is the Spirit of Christ, which is the Spirit of truth. And that Spirit of Christ has an absolute prerogative unto whom He will come and inspire someone. To have that spirit. And that is the only way that we can rest assured that we will be leading to God's kingdom and not to eternal destruction. We will continue the subject, brethren, and hoping that God would bless us. And I know the time will come. I, I remember the statement in 1 TG number 5. It says here on page 14 and 15. 1 TG number 5, page 14 and 15. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. Ezekiel 33, verse 30 to verse 33. Thank you very much for listening and viewing this program. May the good Lord bless you and have a beautiful, wonderful evening.